Of course. The Prince. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. <sighs> what a dreadfully sorry sight. Uh... Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. It becomes a member of the royal family to wear only the most fashionable. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, sir. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My prince. Prince. Hello, Prince. Good day, Prince. Oh, how are you, my Prince? You are looking well today, my Lord. My Lord. Oh, brave knight! Have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. How's that? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. 
So, my good prince, will you take my hand and escort me to the car? Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Ah, my lord. <sighs> I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. You're so unlucky having that statue of your brother right outside your window. I think it'd give me nightmares. Come on, let's go. Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now. Straighten those clothes. Welcome, Your Majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. You have all been through some difficult times. And the King has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. My prince. My prince. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything, but perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. Oh, I don't have to make us all today. wait here like this. It's not right. Maybe, maybe it'll be all right. Maybe I can just... I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my good prince. Your support will make all the difference, I'm certain of it. It's not right. That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks. But today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me, as if your life depended on it. One day, the people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out just how ready you are. All right. Grab a sword. Fight! Again! Yes! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father? The great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero! <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. 
strike me. What are you afraid of? Hit me. I'm not trying hard enough. Again. <laughs> you only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen, there's something... Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Keep out being free! We want... It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. We can't just stand here. I have a horrible feeling about this. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Quick! You can see them! Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his brother. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors? Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my brother and his friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. <clears throat> Leave her alone! I'm all right, I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, brother. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spine. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this girl? The sentence will be death. What? No, this can't be. You are the prince. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Are you listening to me? Pick me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please, we didn't mean anyone any harm. We just wanted to be heard. 
It should be me. Don't do this. It should be me. The girl lives. Kill the rest now. Please. Move! No. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my brother to his chambers. Now. You mustn't blame yourself, sir. I don't think any of us realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's son. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas? Come on. We must leave now. Don't worry, sir. I shall follow you wherever fate may take us. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. What about Elise? We can't leave her here. Don't worry. She's safe. And she can take care of herself. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Where are we going? I, I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough and strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero, but I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them. Those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends. Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. There 
is a great power inside you. You merely lack the means to un- The gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> in the eye or having my head chopped off. What of it? Oh dear, I seem to have struck a nerve. How about if I strike a butler on the bumps? Ah, now this is more like it. Grand, spacious, and plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. I hesitate to ask, but what is our plan? Other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? E even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight, but they need a leader. Someone to believe in. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. Oh, 
certainly got the hang of that spell. Shall we proceed? Ugh, what an unusual stench. I dare say we must be somewhere beneath our stone industrial. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city once we reach the surface. It appears to be a dead end. Not quite. What is that? I'm pretty sure it's a coast. system for heroes. What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination and you should be taken there, just like that. Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying the forest. I've changed my door for some food. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food.